Clostridium perfringens, better known as C. perfringens, is a rod-shaped, gram-positive, spore-forming bacteria that produces harmful toxins. Clostridium perfringens and its toxins can be found basically anywhere in the terrestrial environment. In food products, we are mostly concerned with the C. perfringens enterotoxin, which is a toxin that can be made by C. perfringens within the human intestines. C. perfringens is most commonly found in the gastrointestinal tract of humans and animals, making a common appearance on raw meat and poultry due to fecal contamination from animals. C. perfringens ideal environment, called the danger zone, have low oxygen levels and temperatures that range from 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Under ideal conditions, C. perfringens has the shortest reported generation time of any organism at 6.3 minutes. In addition to warm temperatures and an anaerobic environment, C. perfringens requires media with a high protein content for rapid growth. This explains why it is an issue with high-protein foods such as meat and poultry. Unlike several other spore-forming bacteria that commonly cause food poisoning, Clostridium perfringens lacks flagella. Although it does not have flagella, it is still mobile via gliding motility. When studied on auger plates, Video microscopes have recorded the bacteria moving just as fast as other bacteria that do have flagella. Nearly 1 million cases of foodborne illnesses in the U.S. annually is attributed to C. perfringens. However, the majority of cases are unreported due to self-limiting symptoms. Symptoms occur 6 to 24 hours after consumption and usually go away in less than 48 hours without antibiotic intervention. Symptoms include abdominal cramps, diarrhea, and nausea. C. perfringens operates by forming an enterotoxin, also known as Clostridium perfringens enterotoxin, or CPE, after the host consumes its vegetative cells. It has a high infectious dose, so people have to consume large amounts of vegetative cells in order for illness to occur. However, as mentioned, in the right foods and in the right temperature, C. perfringens has a shortest generation time of any known foodborne pathogen. So producing high enough numbers in the food to cause illness is still very possible. The toxin, however, is only produced in the intestine right as the vegetative cells sporulate. Those most at risk for C. perfringens food poisoning are the young and elderly. However, anyone can get food poisoning from C. perfringens. A noticeable Clostridium perfringens outbreak was in April 2014 at the Food Safety Summit in Maryland. Over 200 of the 1,300 attendees got sick, mostly experiencing diarrheal symptoms. Rather ironic, would you agree? The absence of vomiting was a red flag that the perpetrator was not norovirus. After state officials launched an investigation, they found that Clostridium perfringens was the likely culprit. The implicated food was an undercooked chicken marsala dish. Another outbreak of Clostridium perfringens happened last October at Roosevelt High School in Iowa. 58 teachers had diarrheal symptoms after partaking in a staff luncheon. Classes and after-school activities were shut down in response to the outbreak. After a joint investigation with the Polk County Health Department and the Iowa Department of Public Health, C. perfringens was discovered in the meat served at the luncheon as well as the patient's stool samples. State officials would not release the identity of the caterer or the type of meat they served. <laughs>